Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Jake the Genealogist, and today is a very special day, or at least the day this video came out, um, January 18th, because um, this day we actually celebrate, in the U.S. at least, Martin Luther King Day. Uh, we honor this fallen hero of the civil rights movement um, of the 1950s and 1960s, and Today, I am going to be going over his family tree. Um, now, please note um, that this only covers King's paternal extended family. Basically, the King family. Um, people bearing that surname. Um, however, if you would actually like to see his maternal family, uh, please let me know down in the comments and I can make a part two. Um, now, this chart goes over six generations of his family, and on the left of the screen, there's a little timeline detailing his life. Um, now, let's start in on the earliest known ancestor of his to actually bear the surname King, and that is his great-grandfather, Nathan King. Now, Nathan actually originally bore the surname Branham likely coming from one of his ancestors, um, slave owner. Um, now, he was born in around 1829 and died around 1915. Um, his origin is actually pretty unknown. Um, we have several hypotheses. Um, um, first one is he could have actually immigrated from Ireland. Um, in some U.S. censuses, his birthplace is actually listed as Ireland. Um, and if we rely on similar evidence from censuses, he could have also been born in Georgia or Pennsylvania or Ohio. Potentially even Ireland, Ohio, which might have caused some confusion. Uh, DNA testing from one of MLK's children has actually revealed some Irish ancestry on King's paternal side, but that could be due to some illegitimate child of a slave and a plantation owner. So we're not really sure. Um, but nevertheless, he had um, several children. Most of them are not very important to the story. Um, but the only one, really one that is, is this guy, James Albert King Sr. right here. Now, he was born in around 1864. Um, now, he um, became a sharecropper in Stockbridge, Georgia with his wife, Delia Lindsay, right here. And um, he had a total of 10 children with her, uh, one of whom died in infancy and another one actually died aged 15. Now, James was actually a pretty heavy drinker and um, was generally pretty non-religious, um, unlike the rest of his family, interestingly enough. Um, now, his children were Woody Clara, Martin Luther, um, pretty much called Michael as a kid, um, Lucius, who died in infancy, Lenora, um, Cleo Louise, Lucille, James Albert Jr., Ruby, who died at the age of 15, Henry Lincoln, and Joel Lawrence. Um, so we're going to start off um, with um, this guy, <laughs> Martin Luther King Sr., um, MLK Jr.'s father. Now, um, he wanted to actually become a preacher um, early in life because of um, some inspiring ministers he actually heard actually calling for racial equality. Um, and by 1926, he actually married one Alberta Williams, daughter of his colleague Reverend Alfred Daniel Williams, then preacher at the Ebenezer Baptist Church, uh, which would later become very famous um, for <laughs> him preaching there um, and actually becoming a minister there. Um, now, um, also in that same year, she actually attended the Morehouse College, um, kind of starting the tradition of... Um, most of the people in um, the King family tree actually going to that college. Um, by 1931, he had actually taken over the job of his deceased father-in-law, um, um, where he was minister all the way up until his death in 1984. Now, he had three children with his wife, um, Willie Christine in 1927, Martin Luther Jr. in 1929, and Alfred Daniel over in 1930, right here. Um, now, unfortunately, um, just like for Anne Frank, tragedy was a pretty common theme in the King family. Um, as most of you know, in 1968, um, his son MLK Jr. was actually assassinated by James Earl Ray on the second floor of the Lorraine Motel in Memphis, Tennessee at 6.01 p.m. Um, 
And in 1969, actually, his brother, A.D. King, or Alfred Daniel King, um, actually died from an accidental drowning in his swimming pool. Um, now, the cause is actually rumored to have been from a heart attack, um, from all the trauma and stress surrounding his brother's death. Um, and then in 1974, tragically struck again as MLK Sr.'s wife, Alberta, was actually assassinated in the middle of playing the church organ by Marcus Wayne Chenault, a fellow African-American. And also later, um, free of Alfred Daniels King, um, um, free of Alfred Daniel King's um, children, um, right here, Alfred Daniel, um, Esther Darlene, and Vernon Christopher all died from heart attacks, two of which um, were actually drugging, as well as MLK Sr. himself. Um, and yeah, so um, now let's talk a little bit about Martin Luther King Jr. himself, the whole point of this family tree. Now, um, as we all know, um, he did a lot to really propel the civil rights movement in the United States. Um, he was even awarded a Nobel Prize in 1964 for actually peacefully protesting all the racial inequality in against African Americans in the United States. Um, now, his wife um, was actually Coretta Scott, whom he married in 1953, and she also became a very prominent um, civil rights activist and LGBTQ activist later on in life. Um, she died in 2006. Um, now, together they had several children, um, first of which is Yolanda Denise. Now, um, like her parents, she was a civil rights and LGBTQ activist and was very well known for her humor, just like her father. Um, now, she unfortunately died in 2007 from uh, some undisclosed heart condition. Um, and their second born um, child was their um, son, Martin Luther King III, who um, was born in 1957. Now, he actually served as the fourth president of the South Christian Leadership Conference, um, um, an organization which um, his father, um, MLK, actually established and served as the first president of. Um, now, throughout his life, um, um, MLK III has actually been a strong opponent of the death penalty, and he and his three siblings um, actually, unfortunately, uh, frequently received a lot of racial abuse from other kids and adults um, when they were growing up, um, something that really convinced all of them to really follow in the footsteps of their parents and fight for civil rights. Um, um, their third-born um, child is Dexter Scott King right here. Um, now, he's currently chairman of the King Center for Nonviolent Social Change in Atlanta. Now, he's a vegan as well as an animal rights activist and has actually portrayed his father in films on several occasions, so that's pretty cool. And their last born child is Bernice Albertine King. Now, she is CEO of the aforementioned King Center as well as a Christian consulting firm. Um, and though in 2004 she actually participated in an anti-same-sex marriage protest in contrast to her mother and sister's advocacy for it, by 2015 she had actually changed her stance by actually respecting the Supreme Court's ruling on same-sex marriage. Um, so yeah. Now, um, Yolanda actually remained unmarried. Um, MLK III uh, married Andrea Waters, uh, with whom he has one um, daughter, Yolanda Renee King, um, only 12 years old right now. Um, um, and um, she's actually already becoming a pretty big activist for, against gun violence. Um, she actually gave a little speech, which is like really fun to see that the um, King family, the younger members of the King family, are really carrying on the le legacy of their forefathers. Um, now, Dexter Scott King married Leah Weber, um, they have no children, and Bernice is unwed as of uh, making this video. Now, moving on to um, Martin Luther King's sister, Willie Christine King. Now, she ended up marrying Isaac Newton Ferris Sr., 
um, who recently passed away in 2017. And they have two children, Isaac Newton Ferris Jr. and Angela Ferris Watkins. Um, now, um, as far as I can tell, this guy is unmarried, um, but uh, Angela is married um, to someone, I couldn't find out who it was, so I didn't include it on the family tree. Someone from the last name Watkins, as far as I know, um, and he, she has one daughter, Ferris Christine Watkins, right here, who's currently 23 years old. Um, now, on the other side of the spectrum, we got um, Martin Luther's uh, younger brother, um, right here, Alfred Daniel King. Um, now, he married Naomi Ruth Barber, and he had several kids, including Alveda Celeste King, Alfred Daniel King II, Derek Barber King, Esther Darlene King, and Vernon Christopher King. Um, now, as I previously mentioned, only two of them are actually still alive, that being Alveda and Derek. The other three actually all passed away from heart attacks. Now, Alveda actually... Um, in contrast to some of um, the Democratic supporters in her um, in her family, um, is actually a very big Republican Party supporter. Um, but moving past that, um, she's actually married and divorced three different times, um, and she has a total of six children. Those including Eddie Clifford Beale the third, Darlene Ruth Celeste Beale. Jennifer Beal, Joshua John Beal, and John Beal. Um, now, some of these people are married and do have children, um, uh, many of whom um, are um, under the age of 18, so I just want to keep them private. Um, and so many of these second grade nieces and nephews are not really included in this family tree. Um, and they're not necessarily relevant in MLK's family history, either. Um, and then she has another child from another marriage, Jarrett Raynard Ellis. Um, now, Alfred Daniel died before he could marry. Um, Derek Barber married um, Janice Wivers, um, and he has two sons, um, Derek King II and Kyle Nelson Wendell King. Um, um, once again, Esther Darlene, never married. Um, Vernon Christopher King, however, did marry Robin Scott, um, still alive today, and he had two daughters, Victoria Chelsea King and Venus Chantel King, right here. Now, um, I want to talk about some of his, uh, some of MLK Sr.'s siblings' descendants now. Um, Woody had actually no children um, with her husband, um, so moving on to Lenora. Um, now, as far as I can tell, um, Lenora and Elijah had a couple kids, but I don't know. I, I'm i not sure why I didn't add them to the tree, I guess. I just didn't. But moving on to Cleo Louise King. Um, now, um, she married Arthur Bud Hill, um, and they had several children. Um, they actually had more than these three shown, but I couldn't find very much information on what happened to some of the other ones. Um, so um, they had one son, uh, uh, Toussaint King Hill Sr. right here, um, who actually became a reverend, um, just like MLK Sr. up here, and his brother right here, Joel Lawrence King. Um, and they also had a daughter, Dorothy Lee Hill, uh, who married John Thomas Anderson. And another daughter, Betty Ann King, who went unwed. Um, now, um, next child, Lucille, I can't find any information. I, I don't know what happened to her. James Albert uh, King, he had one son uh, named Jim. Um, that's about it. Um, Ruby King obviously died pretty young. Um, Henry Lincoln King couldn't find any information about his children. And finally, Joel Lawrence King, also a reverend. Now, he married Mary Venezalia Gist, or Gist or something like that. Um, and he had three children. Um, Gussie King, who married Herbert Rucker, right here. Dalton Lyles and Joel Lawrence King Jr., who is also a reverend. 
And all these people mentioned right here are first cousins of Martin Luther King Jr. And so that about wraps up this family tree. Um, and once again, I want to reiterate, um, if you want to see Martin Luther King's mom's family, um, the Williams family, then definitely let me know down in the comments um, for if I should make a part two or not. Um, but anyways, um, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, happy Martin Luther King Day, and I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye.